Using grids are fantastic because they create a structure that enables designers to organize information quickly. How so? By making the site look cleaner and aligned, giving the website a professional look and feel. As well, grids can help establish breakpoints when you're making device-independent designs. You can also break these rules by strategically breaking the grid to emphasize valuable content. For example, Wayfair.ca uses a three-column grid system, but they break the grid at specific moments to draw attention towards certain things. Wayfair is currently using a three-column grid system. One, two, three. The hero image, as we see here, falls just outside of the grid area. Then these two other sections have their grid, a two-column structure which breaks the three-column grid, but in a way that emphasizes the contents of that section. Yes, a grid can seem rigid at first, but it does provide a set of boundaries and rules that allow a user to find information quickly and also enables design to organize information. Let's create a grid for a mock-up size at 1920 pixels wide. First, I'd like to go to my trusty site, The Grid Calculator and enter how many columns and size. So here I'm going to enter 20, 1920, and I have a gutter width of 20 and a margins of 10. Here you can decide which if you want to use 12 or 16 columns. Let's go to Photoshop and create a new document. Command N, create new. And the one I'm going to choose here, I'm going to go to the web presets and create, create or click on web large. Make sure you have artboards on here so that we can sync this up within either in Envision or Adobe XD and create. To create our common grid system, go to View, New Guide Layout, enter the number of columns that you wanted. We have to enter 16, and we have previously we knew that's going to be 20 pixels of our gutter and a margin of 10 across, top, left, bottom, right. Do make sure you turn on certain columns so you have an existing idea of where everything is going to be and click on preview and say OK. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like it or share it. And also tell people about it.